Now let's see the phi mark derivation, an important derivation from binomial theorem. They will ask us to state the binomial theorem and prove it. So the statement of binomial theorem is a power a plus b power n is equal to n c naught a power n plus n c one a power n minus one b power one and n c two a power n minus two b power two so on till n c n a power zero b power k. This is the statement of binomial theorem. So let's start proving it. First, first step is let this statement be so let this statement be p of n that is we should consider the statement as p of n it will be easy to prove if we consider it as a statement a single statement nc to a power n minus 2 b square plus so on till nc n a power 0 b power k okay so in proving this, there were there are three steps involved. So step number one is check whether check whether p of n is true for n is equal to one. So first step is to check whether p of n is true for n is equal to one. That is on LHS the first term is a plus b power n. Okay. So if we substitute n is equal to one. So, a plus b is there. And on RHS, we have to substitute 1. Okay. In the place of n. So, 1c naught a power 1 plus 1c1 a power 1 minus 1 b power 1 and 1c2 a power 1 minus 2 b square. From this term, we are not considering because in the principle in combination ncr, n is always greater than r. So, R will not be always great or should not be greater than N. So, we are not considering from third term. And so, NCR is 1 factorial by 1 minus 0 factorial and 0 factorial A1 plus 1 factorial by 1 minus 1 factorial and 1 factorial B1. Okay. So, in uh, factorial, we will take 0 factorial as 1. Okay. So, 1 factorial 1 into A power 1 plus 1 into b power 1. So, therefore, RHS is also a plus b. Thus, p of 1 is true. Okay. And next, this is a first step. First step is an easy step. And the second step is assume. We have to assume p of k is true. Second step is to assume that p of k is true. That is, p of k is, in the place of n, we should substitute k. So, a plus b power k kc0 a par k kc1 a par k b a par k minus 1 b par 1 and so on till kck b power k okay so b par k till here we have to consider so second step also over and now third step is to prove that we have to prove that p of k plus 1 is true p of k plus 1 is true that is what we have to prove. Let me tell. P of k plus 1 is a plus b. In the place of k, we have to substitute k plus 1. So, k plus 1, c naught, a power k plus 1. k plus 1, c 1, a power k, b power b. And so on till k plus 1, c k plus 1, b power k plus 1. So, we are just writing this to have a reference. Okay. So, the one what we have to prove let, prove, let us put in the bracket. Okay. So, we have to multiply. Multiply k plus 1th term. k plus 1th term. So, let me see the LHS. It is a plus b power k plus 1. So, and here in the second step, I have a plus b power k. To get this a plus b power k plus 1, I have to multiply this, this, equation with a plus b so if i multiply i will get a, a plus b part k plus 1 so therefore the k plus 1th term is a plus b and we have to multiply the k plus 1th term that is a plus b on both side on both side of equation of equation in second step okay we have to involve the second step here so that is 
also that is a plus b of k into a plus b is equal to a plus b into k c naught a k k c one a k par a a par k minus one b par one and k c two a par k minus two b square so on till k c k b power k okay and so a plus b par k plus one we have obtained our LHS so we'll just keep it apart and we'll now just work out on the RHS so we have to multiply the individual term k c naught a k into a is a power k plus one plus k c one a power k minus one plus one is a power k b plus k c two a power k minus one into b square so on till the last one will be k c k a power a b power k okay and next it starts from this one k c not from again from first one but b will be multiplied that is k c not a power k b and k c 1 a power k minus 1 b square and so on till k c k b power k plus 1 and if we see the last term only b is obtained and in the first term only a is obtained but we'll just keep apart and we'll see what are the common terms a k a power k b is common a power k into b is common a power k minus 1 into b square is common so same like this and a power k minus 2 b cube will be common and a power k minus 3 b power 4 will be common so there will be a lot of terms in common so here k c not a power k plus 1 we are taking as it is so let me just write here k c not a power k plus 1 is as it is here a power k b is common so the one which is left over are k c 1 plus k c not plus a power k minus 1 b square is common the leftover term is k c 2 and k c 1 ok so same like this the terms will be repeating till k c k b power k plus 1 so the one important formula that we learnt and in combination and also I have kept a video I have put a video and I'll give it in the description. You can check it. The one three mark derivation we have learned was NCR plus NCR minus 1 is N plus 1 CR. The formula now we are going to use here is this one. Okay. So that is KC naught A power K plus 1 plus A power K B K into B here N is K. So, n plus 1, c, r is 0. So, c naught. Okay. And in this term, k plus 1, c power c1. So, that is k a power k minus 1, b square. So, on till k c k b power k plus 1. Okay. And if we check with the 1, what we have to get? The second term is there, third term is there and all other term will be same. But the lacking one is here we have to get k plus 1 and here we have to get k plus 1. There is no issue. We will just write k c naught is equal to k plus 1 c naught which is equal to 1. So, let us see whether it is correct or not. Okay. So, we know that this is 1. Okay. And k plus 1 c naught. Let us see k plus 1 c naught is 1 or not so k plus 1 c naught is k plus 1 factorial divided by k plus 1 minus 0 factorial and into 0 factorial is actually 1 so this 2 gets cancelled which is 1 okay 1 so we are getting this as 2 and here let us say kc kc k is equal to k plus 1 c k plus 1 is 1 so k plus 1 c k plus 1 is k plus 1 factorial 
k plus 1 minus k minus 1 factorial and k plus 1 factorial. So, this k plus 1, k plus 1 is 1. 0 factorial is actually 1. So, we have got to know. So, the 1 we are going to use is this one here. And for the first and last term. So, these are just a working out. You should not include this in your derivation. If needed, you can write kc0 is equal to k plus 1 c0 which is equal to 1 and k ck is equal to k plus 1 ck plus 1 is equal to 1. Okay, this is for your understanding I have written. And after this step, you have to continue with k plus 1 c0 a power k plus 1 plus k plus 1 c1. Okay, k plus 1 1 c1 a power k b plus k, k plus 1 c2 a power k minus 1 b square so on till k plus 1 c k plus 1 b power k plus 1 ok and here it is actually 1 not 0 ok because this is the greater value. We are taking the greater value of the R, not the lesser value. Okay. Only this much is the derivation for binomial theorem. It is an important five marker in uh, binomial theorem. They will ask you to prove, uh, state and prove the binomial theorem. It's not so much difficult. If you learn it, it would be very much easy. And thank you for watching it. And if you need this, you can write in the working column, not like this. And after this step you have to continue and you can see therefore a plus b of k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 c naught a power k plus 1 plus k plus 1 c 1 a power k a power k into b plus k plus 1 c 2 a power k minus 1 b square so on till k plus 1 c k plus 1 b power k plus 1 so therefore P of k plus 1 is true. Okay. So, therefore, binomial theorem has been proved. Okay. Only this much is the derivation for binomial.